Hey everybody, Michelle here. Just wanted to say hello, see how everybody's doing. I know you hadn't seen my face in a while, but you've seen a lot of my posts. And um, I just want to let everybody know that I'm doing fantastic. There's not a goddamn thing going on, and any, anything wrong with me, and uh, anything that anybody needs to be concerned about. Uh, in the last couple of days or so, uh, certain things have happened, or has been happening. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people have been questioning, okay, now what is really going on with this woman? What, you know, is, does she have a problem? And, um, it, and it kind of demonstrates that, um, to be considered a highly functioning human being, uh, with certain type of abilities, this person has to be crazy in some way, right? Isn't that, isn't that the, the, the standard, that someone of uh, any kind of caliber, especially a black woman, uh, before she can have a certain type of abilities and or knowledge or expertise or, you know, considered a highly functioning person, there has to be something wrong with her, right? So I'm just um, checking in, letting you guys know I am fantastic, you know. Sometimes you have to do things to kind of awaken people. You know, and take us out of our capsules, you know, and our, and our um, presumptions, our criticisms, our judgments, and expand ourselves, you know. Um, we are so easily fooled by, by a lot of garbage, and unfortunately, uh, that's going to take some time to resolve. Um, you know, I, I take this stuff to black lesbians and their descendants because I know that we, at, at some point, we do go a little deeper than most and, and try to figure out, okay, what's really, really going on? You know, because we're so, we're the most affected by a lot of things. So, um, so again, uh, I'm doing fantastic. Okay, I, um, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I know what I'm doing. But at the same time, I'm just trying to, you know, kind of push the envelope, as they say. And, and really understand what people are, are, Thinking about what people are saying, what people are doing, because that's a very that is a fascination to me, and it's so it's such a and it's more of a fascination as to how psychopaths, sociopaths, can kind of navigate through a certain a certain window of opportunities, and you know they can make the most impact in people's lives, but yet someone that's you know that's not psychopath or sociopath or any of those type of labelings can perceive, be, be perceived as something else. That, okay, there must be something wrong with that chick right there. What the hell is she talking about? You know, and it, can, and it can't be anything more than this, this woman is highly intelligent, right? Highly functioning and normal, right? Whatever that is considered normal. So I just wanted to, you know, Step in, you know, because I said I would do this. I would come in every now and then and talk and say certain things just to, you know, get a feel for things because um, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do, and it mainly is on our perceptions, okay? Our perceptions, our beliefs, our, um, uh, more so to our beliefs. You know, we're so, we're so trapped in our beliefs, and we just can't seem to step out of that. And, and the reason we can't step out of that, I don't know why. I guess it's comfortable, you know. I don't know how it would be comfortable to be always stuck, feeling stuck, because that's what beliefs do to you. Beliefs make you stuck, and they don't allow you to expand and accept certain type of realities. So, I, again, I'm fantastic. You know, um, uh, everything I do has a purpose and has an intention and it's also to help as well, you know, let people know, you know, that what, are you, what is normal, really? We need to ask those kind of questions. What is considered normal behavior? And why do we allow certain, certain, certain facets of certain type of uh, personalities and to come in and just unravel our, our, our senses of reality? How do we allow that to keep happening? And, and we do. So, and this whole, you know, like, you know, none of you really don't, you know, none of you know me, right, per se. You just see me on this uh, cell phone, you know, running my mouth and talking. Um, 
But it, it's, just, it's just amazing how certain types of people are accepted as um, experts, right? Or uh, knowledgeable, right? And um, intelligent, you know, or, um, or uh, they have a certain level of um, respectability, you know, while certain others don't. You know, they could be doing the same thing. You know, I could be doing the same thing, you know, hearing things, seeing things, feeling things, but yet there's a problem with me, but yet others can do it, and they are, they are, you know, took, taken to the pedestal of, um, you know, because of their abilities. And a lot of it is uh, geared towards more men, you, we all know that. It's not no secret. We, you know, more men can seem to be uh, bestowed a certain level of respectability, and he could be manipulating you. <laughs> you know, and you know, because it is, it is a, it is um, a lot of that goes on. You know, who, who's considered the expert? You know, am I considered an expert, or you, or does this person have to be a certain? race or gender or age or come from a certain background, right? So we have to be, we have to be out of our capsules and I call capsules our beliefs. We have to step out of those beliefs, you know, just do it for a little while and say, well, what's really going on, you know, in the world? What's going on around me? You know, what's reality and what's not, you know, what's abilities and what's, what are not abilities, you know? Again, I know what I'm doing. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm not trying to uh, appear to know more than I know. I know what I know, and so do you. But again, your beliefs block you from uh, accessing those type of abilities because you know you figure, well, I'm a woman. I can only do this. I'm a I'm a man. I can only do that. Uh, I'm a black woman. Uh, I'm a, a black lesbian whatever the case may be, right? So, um, I'm good. There's not a thing going on with me. I, I mentioned spectrums a while ago. Um, I did have a dream about spectrums years ago. This was like two, 2002. But um, I, I didn't understand what spectrums mean, you know, those, you know, when someone's on a spectrum. I mean, I don't, I don't really understand that at all. I don't. I don't understand that. But I do, I do remember having a dream back in 2002. Um, but I just know how easily people can create stuff, create false narratives, give you a false perception of who they are. And we ain't, we'll accept it. We'll accept certain things about certain people, whereas others, are, no, 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 you can't do that. Nope, 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 nope. She has to be crazy to be able to, you know, to do this and that and the other. Do we do that? Honestly, do we do that to each other? We do. We do. So, uh, like I said, nobody knows me <laughs> except my family. And we, I mean, I'm not talking to some of them. And they didn't know why. It's not, it has something to do with something personal. It has nothing to do with anything else. You know, it has nothing to do with anything else. Um, like every family, we have had issues. But I am big on people telling me the truth. Okay, and walking the talk. And this is not just, just spewing shit out of, your, out of your mouths and not think that you can be held accountable and be responsible. You know, if you, if you say to me, you're going to do something, I expect you to do it, right? I mean, why not? You know, you can do, some people can do things for other people and they don't even know them. But yet they can't give a person that they claim to love, claim to know those same type of uh, respect, right? So I'm good. There's not a thing going on with me. Whoever's been monitoring and watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Because it is, again, we have to figure, we got to figure out how we're being so manipulated all the time. How we're being allowed to be uh, taken advantage all the time. And it's usually if they are white males. White males get all of this attention for being so highly perceptive so highly qualified and so highly knowledgeable, but a black lesbian? Oh no, she gotta be crazy. That bitch crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, 
We all know that. That bitch is crazy. Who the fuck is she talking to, you know? And, you know, we all hear voices, don't we? We all hear voices if, you be, if you're logical. I mean, we all hear voices because uh, otherwise we'll have a dead brain. You know, our, our voices are always going around in our heads. We're always saying things in our head because that's a natural process of how things are done. Okay? So, uh, again, I hope I'm not offending anybody. Uh, and within, I think it was the last week or so after I, my last video, I can't remember what date. But let me give you a date before I close this out so we'll know when this was recorded. Stand by. Let me get that real quick. Stand by, please. All right, it's November 12th on a Saturday, okay? Um, yeah, and I also want to say uh, congratulations to Pam and uh, Brandy. You guys are beautiful. You're a beautiful couple. I'm so happy and proud of you guys, you know, because I, th I think you met in a group, and so that's fantastic and wonderful to know that those kind of things can happen. we got to be creative. My goodness, we got to be creative, we had to come out of our capsules, and what I mean by that is come out of our beliefs about how things are supposed to be done. My goodness, you know, and, and start paying attention to all these people manipulating you and lying to you and hiding stuff, okay? You don't have to be highly sense, a highly sensor, uh, sensible or sensory, I'm sorry, a highly sensory person to know when somebody's lying to you. Okay, you need to get outside and understand how the planet works. Okay, what's, what these stars and moons and mountains and, and trees and, and flowers, what, they, what does it all mean? Okay, because we're losing a lot of it. And anybody can put up fake shit now. You know, fake profiles, you know, fake personas. And we fall for it every time. But the, if it comes from a black woman's mouth, oh, my God, that bitch is crazy. <laughs> We've heard that shit before. Oh, gosh, she needs to be monitored and evaluated and make sure she, you know, she's not a harm to herself. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. And, um, uh, again, I'm, sometimes I'm disappointed. I really am. I'm disappointed because um, we ought to know better now. This is 2022. Soon to be 2023. And, you know, and we're acting like as if, we, you know, we're still in the 1800s sometimes. You know, we're always evolving. Okay, but whether we accept it or not, that's on us. We're always evolving. Our consciousness, our abilities, you know, we're, that, that, that will never stop. None of us can stop that. You know, you can wait around for somebody all you want. You can. I, I, I have no problem with someone waiting around for somebody to come and save them. Okay, come and reveal something to them. You know, you can do that all you want, and that's fine. You have that, you have that, uh, that's your right, okay? But like I said, there's so many things going on, and it's just so surprising to me how certain people can get away with certain behaviors and carrying on and, 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 and saying, lying to you, okay? But let a black woman come along and say some of the same things, and that bitch is crazy, Right? Am I telling you the truth or not? Okay, so, hey, it is what it is, as everybody says, you know. And I'm so tired of all these quotes. Who's benefiting from all these quotes as well? Because a lot of these quotes are, are, are stolen, by the way. A lot of these quotes that we, I mean, I, I enjoy quotes because I enjoy words. But I have no idea sometimes who these quotes belong to. Uh, I'm sure they belong to people that are, that are unaware that we're using them constantly millions of times a day you know we're stealing people's shit and they're not benefiting from it are their children benefiting are their descendants benefiting okay because we always we like to steal stuff and just you know and just make you know what does that do to us when we're when we're doing that you know when we're, we're quoting does it make you feel better or something what is it what is that all about as well what is it all about so um, let's, um, let's just be honest with ourselves, genuinely honest uh, with ourselves and ask the, the right kind of questions of ourselves. 
Okay, who the fuck are we? Okay, and why do we keep allowing certain people to navigate through and benefit? And always black women seem to be the crazy ones. You know, to be associated with the moon is lunacy. But yet we talk about zodiac signs 24-7. Alignment is, is a true phenomena to be aligned that you know that that's a proof that's a that's true we ought to know that okay the stars and the moon and the mountains are not just up there for our entertainment purposes or are they is that what we all believe so just want to let you know michelle is fantastic over here okay i know exactly what i'm doing okay and we have i have nothing to lose by what i'm doing I have nothing to lose. Like I said, nobody, none of you guys know me, you know, and um, none of you may, ne- may, none of you may ever know me, because it's just that that is just that type of uh, environment we have now, where we can't really connect. We can't ne- connect physically, you know, as we want to, because it's just not practical, you know. For it's not pract- practical to me to say, hey, I want to go to Africa. I can't walk to Africa from Florida. I could, but I won't ever get there, you know. You know. So, you know, our descendants will have to take on a lot of this stuff, unfortunately. Um, and let these kids ask you questions, God damn it. Who are they going to get these answers from, okay? When the books that, they, the books that ought to, they ought to be reading to get this information from is being banded, okay, being eroded and taken away from them, Okay. Kids can't go outside and play with fake guns anymore because people can't tell the difference between a fake gun and a real gun. Okay, they can't use their hand. If they're using their hand, oh my God, this person has a gun. Gun, shots fired, shots fired. Come on, we're being, Ill- we're being so illogical and stupid. And, we're being a- and, and nobody see- seems to have a problem with that at all. And so it makes me nervous to even go outside sometimes. Because I know people are watching me around here. <laughs> I know people are watching. Like, what the, what the hell is wrong with that bitch? Carrying sticks and shit and, and running around outside looking, at, looking up in the sky. You know, and, 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 and carrying on, talking to herself. Anybody that says that they don't talk to themselves are lying to you. When you're in, your, in a big house, well, it's not a big house. But I'm saying when you're in a home by yourself, you mean to tell me you're not talking to yourself? You know, having a conversation. You're always hearing voices. Those are your thoughts. You're always hearing voices. All of us. So, again, I'm going to sign off. You know, I'm washing clothes. Um, you know, doing my thing. You know, doing my thing up in here as I always do. It's just like I, I just have an audience now, apparently. You know, people watching and monitoring and Want to know, oh my God, how does she know this? How does she know that? Well, if you put your motherfucking phones down, you would know too. Okay, and stop judging people, which you can. Judging is a, there's a process of judging which is necessary for discernment and so forth and so on. But because of how somebody's acting and dancing, you know, how are you, you going to be able to present yourself to someone if you don't practice that? If you don't practice dancing, if you don't practice talking to yourself when nobody's here, I mean, if I had a partner here, I would tell her what, what, what I'm doing, and then she'll go mind her own motherfucking business and do her shit while I'm doing my shit. You got to practice. You know, so, again, thanks for listening. You know, um, some of you stop smoking some of that goddamn weed. Stop it, because that shit is laced with something that's not natural, apparently. Um, but you know, you, you do what you got to do, but you need to know where you, what you're smoking. You really do. Okay. And, and, and challenge your beliefs, challenge them and say, well, why do I have this, these type of beliefs? Who am I waiting for to come and save me before I decide, okay, to take life seriously. Okay. We're losing this planet. I'm just being real honest. And this is, this is, this is nothing scientific on my behalf is this is an obvious thing that I see I pay attention to the foundation that I walk I pay attention to the air I breathe the smell my senses 
That's what my senses do for me. And they do the same thing for you if you were paying attention. So thanks for, you, thanks for, for coming along and having fun with me, I hope, and not taking everything so damn seriously and worrying about whether this bitch has lost her damn mind or something. Because <laughs> there's a possibility that you may have. Okay? Peace and love.